Hey guys, I am back. It's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a pretty little thing haul. So I hope you enjoy. You know, spring is coming up and we still have the semi springy going from winter essentials. I'll be going to Arizona soon. So I figured that I could use this opportunity to get me a couple little lounge wear, um, some things that I may wear on the trip. Yeah, I want to be comfortable while I'm there. We're doing a lot of activity, so it's important that I remain comfortable and at least enjoy the fabric that I selected. So those are things that key things that I'll be looking for. So in this video, I am going to be showing you what I got. I got a lot of grays. Um, more so on the blacks, grays, and nudish, brownish. So come along with me. This is the gray zip up sweater and gray basic jam sweat jogger in a size large. Now these items did not come together, so they are both sold separately. However, I did a really good job with matching them together. Um, it is very, very roomy. I love the pockets on the sweatpants. You can adjust them. You can make them a little tighter or a little looser. This is something I can definitely lounge around in, wear on a plane or whatever I want to choose to do. The bottom of the crop top is elastic and very, very stretchy. I also love the way it looks. It's like a ragged look. It's distressed and you can see the elastic, which makes it very different. The neck is really roomy. I enjoy that it does not hug my neck for the spring you can unzip it wear it that way zip it back up or however you choose i wanted to show you the fabric up close it is a heather gray it is not too thick and not too thin so it's perfect for spring weather now let's get into what i didn't love so much about this sweatshirt it unzips and zips back up when you go to zip it back up it is kind of difficult to get it to zip back up and you have to tug at it for a while before it can actually go up this is a closer look at the sweatpants it is tight around the ankles it has plt sports going down the left leg and it looks really really good on and i can't wait to wear it Photo shoot. this is the embroidered cuff rib catsuit in chocolate it's really stretchy and has pretty little thing written around the wrist of the left the sleeves are really really long so they have cutouts for your thumbs i do not like how the arms seem to be a little long the seam do not fit where it's supposed to be so with that one thing being off it does not really fit to my body when i move around when i move around as you can see there are spaces between my body and the garment and i really don't like that it's kind of making it look like a boxy look and it's really not appealing to my shape every time i move the garment kind of get away from my body somehow so this is not one of my favorites i do like how the bottom hugs my ankles so that's a plus now i like this zipped down more than i do up and i'm really not a cleavage person but something had to give i feel like i either needed a little bit more room or a little less room and i really couldn't put my finger on it I wanted to show you guys a up close of the fabric. It does not look cheap at all. And I do not like that it separates from the top to the bottom because for some reason on me, it's not in the right place. So it's just, it's a no for me. And it's kind of unfortunate because I usually have pretty good judgment when it comes to buying things online. I instantly know, based off of how it looks on the model, whether it will appear or be appealing on my body or not. This was not the case. And this is the black punch, not detailed shirt dress in black. It is a size large as well. Now, I like the way it looks on camera. It really, really looks well. 
I've been looking for a mini black dress for a while and I thought this could be it but like some things it's something that I do not like about it now it looks like a blouse you see the collar you see the buttons on the sleeves I like how it has no buttons in the front so cleavage shown I thought it would show a little bit more cleavage but I'm fine with that I really like how it fits tight around the skirt area and it kind of actually look cute but then we get to the side where it zips up by the way it's like a parachute I am kind of convinced that this area which does not really serve much purpose to me however it has to be for someone with a large fupa who wants a mini skirt or a mini dress because like this little parachute area it just does not go with the dress i was trying to figure out if i could pull it down some more or what is this extra material doing or what is it for this is the only downside to the dress i am going to have to look in the full mirror with this one because it looks okay on camera but I just don't understand the extra fabric. It could have really been eliminated or they could have did something different. So that was a no for me with the fupa area. It just, it just flaps everywhere. So I can't really figure it out. Other than that, I like the dress. I like the way it fits. You can move around. I just did not like that it had the little fupa area. Oh, and let's not fail to mention that it kind of make my backside look a little Spongebob-ish. So, I'm going to need some advice. You think I should keep this? Because as of right now, it's going back. Photoshop. One more thing I failed to mention was I finally realized that in the FUPA area had pockets. However, I was thinking that maybe my hands could go all the way through the FUPA but the pockets were so small that my hands couldn't really fit all the way through the fupa area or through the pockets. And I wanted to show you guys really quickly as well how it zips and where it zips on the side. This is the stone ruched sleeve one shoulder midi dress in a size large. Now, I don't like how this one separates top and bottom either because they're in different places. It looks okay in the back, but now we get to the sleeve. The sleeve is so big and long, but I'm guessing that's the wrist sleeve area and it needs to be that way to give the wrist effect, which is fine. But once I got it to look right, it didn't stay. Even when I tied it off camera, it just wouldn't stay. Now, that's something I could deal with because I could rig that to make it work. The sides rush as well, the opposite side of the skirt. And I really pictured myself on a beach in this. But then we got to the one sleeve, which the opposite sleeve was way too big. I would not be able to not wear a bra with this or a half bra because... It just, it's misproportioned. Now, my bottom is bigger than the top, but I just don't feel like it should be that big. So, this was a no for me as well. This just screams beach. Like, I feel like I would really, really appreciate it on the beach. But, I don't know if someone can take it in because I like how I fit. It's just the boob area is not tight enough for me. These are the black faux leather deep waistband leggings. My first impression of these were that they look cheap. But when I put them on, I actually really, really like them. They have a high shine to them. I've seen some that look a little better than these. However, I'm going to wear them. I like how they fit to me. I like how they have a little stretch. They also have like a small bit of insulation in them which I don't need right now but I can keep it for when I do 
so these are go. I didn't really realize that I put all the ones that I did not like together, but they had to go. Oh, and I also like that they were high waisted. That looks pretty good on me. Photoshop. This is the black elasticated hem cropped hoodie and casual jogger, both in black. Now these did not come together. They are purchased separately. This is a crop hoodie. It's really, really comfortable. I matched them together really, really well because you wouldn't be able to tell that they don't go together. It says pretty little thing in green across the front. I like my hoodies tied really, really tight because I very seldomly actually have them on my head. The joggers are very, very comfortable. You could tell that they're different by the strings. The hoodie strings are kind of smooth and the joggers look like jogger strings and they come from the inside. But I like how this fit. It fits really, really well. I can wear it different places. I can dress it up. I can dress it down. I could go to the grocery store. I can just chill. It's really just up to me. But this is one of the keeps because it's really, really comfortable. It's also not too thin and not too thick. This is the Pretty Little Thing light gray sports bra and Pretty Little Thing gray leggings. I really, really love this. I love the way the leggings fit. They fit perfect to me. I could sleep in this. I can work out in this. I could do store runs in this. I just love this. It's a two-piece that fit really, really tight around the ankles. However, my cleavage is out. The top is kind of too big. It is kind of big on the sides and it does not give me the support that I am used to so I would like this to be fixed I want it a smaller size or I would like to do something strange to the back to make it look appealing I tried that I wasn't successful so I think I'm going to have to send it back and get a medium because it's just not giving me the support that I'm looking for so yeah, although I absolutely love this set, I am going to send the sports bar back to get a smaller size. I just hope that it does not be too small because some things are in between on sizes and I just really, really hope and pray that this is not one of them because I really like this. Photoshop. So that concludes my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed my honest review. Some of those, I definitely will be going back. I enjoy probably four out of the seven outfits. So that's still, you know, more positive than negative. However, um, we definitely going to be sending some of them items back. And I'm going to try to get something different. So I may do a part two to this just to see before I say, okay, I'm only going to get loungewear from here or I can't get dresses or certain items. Um, I'm a little disappointed, but I'll live. Um, I did get some of the things out of there that I did actually really, really like. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, and ring the bell for notifications. Also, don't forget to follow me at StyleDiva10 on IG. As always, you know I missed you guys a long way. Peace out. Photoshop.